Welcome to the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is always natural. I'm Dr. Swanis Bosisom Somi. And the Gulula, 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 I'm Dr. Tavisilem Somi. It's always a joy to be coming into your homes as we are celebrating 2019. Gulula, we are saying it's easy with my life, it's easy with everything, it's easy with 2019. When you say it easy, you can say easy Monday, easy Tuesday, easy Wednesday, easy Thursday, easy Friday, mm. and easy Saturday. Amen. Obvious, it will be an easy Sunday where we are glorifying our God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, yeah. the master of the universe. 2019, Kulula 2019. Yeah. That's what we are saying this year, it is easy. We are expecting the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. Of course, whatever you say, when you say it's easy, yes, it's true. Your condition might be contrary to what you say. But when you declare it over your life and believe and have faith, and we know beyond knowing that things will start turning around. In yes. Jesus' name. Yes, uh, things will turn around because we will eat uh, the fruits of our leaves. Yes. Uh, whatever we say with our mouth, when you say gundima, it's hard, it's going to be. Although you speak reality, mm. what is reality? What the facts? What is different between the facts and the truth? You see, the truth will set you free. The fact will, will tell you it's tough, but the, the truth will say all things work together for the good. Yeah, For yeah. Those. There is a mystery, or I would say a mystery. You see, when you say the reality and you proclaim it and you you declare it, you will find it in your tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But if you are, you have to ask yourself, what is it that I want? Do I want this reality? And if you don't like the reality that is real in your life right now, say what you want and say it until the atmosphere changes. Because when you declare what you want you'll find it in your tomorrow. We call those things which are not as they are. Yes. We follow our names usually. Yeah. But today, let's not talk about the Ugulula. We have explained <laughs> a lot about Ugulula 2019. We know that 2019, we yeah. say Ugulula 2019. It is easy. Everywhere you'll hear people saying it is easy. Mm -hmm. Ugulula, easy 2019, easy Friday, easy what, 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 what. Yeah, things yeah. Are happening. I heard that on Ukozi on Friday, they were calling, listeners were calling and yeah. saying, Easy Friday. Easy Friday. Yeah, so, yeah. and they are tuning in. It is in the atmosphere. Yes. You yeah. know, sometimes when God release gives you a word, you might think that it is your only word. Mm -hmm. But it's a word that is released in the atmosphere. It's for everybody to decode it or to, yeah, to it's to decode when yeah, you're decode pulling it because in. Because it was encoded. Because it's in the atmosphere. So in the atmosphere, God has declared that we say it, it is, is easy. easy. Yes. yes. Hashtag it is easy 2019. Yeah. It's going to be. Yeah. We're going to enjoy it. What are we having this time? Uh, this time we will be talking about the heart. It's a very powerful. Yeah, Vuta. 
Vuta vutariane. Vutariane, vutaring. <laughs> vutaring message of the time. Yeah. How I wish this message can be taken all over the world where you spoke about the heart so passionately and so powerfully. Mm. Uh, talking about the condition of the heart, about the pure heart, the bad, the good heart. Can you give us the sneak peek? Yes, you said, like, blessed are those who are pure in the heart okay. because they shall see God. Mm -hmm. uh, you talked about that God is the one, I mean, talks to the heart. He mm -hmm. doesn't talk to the mind. Mm -hmm. And then when he has touched the heart, then the mind will start processing what you've received from God. But God will always approach the heart. Okay. But the enemy, the devil, of course, he always targets the mind. Mm -hmm. But God targets the heart. And also there's something very profound that you, you said. You said when you open your heart, it is easy for one's life to be changed instantly. Yeah. You can go to school or you can study and take time. Like you involve time in changing your life. But by opening your heart, you can just change instantly, just exactly. like that. Yeah. So we really, really need to open our hearts, but still we also need to have pure heart because those who are pure in heart will be able to see God. So in other words, just sit down, relax. There is a food coming. Yes, <laughs> there is food coming. It, ha it has... Uh, Shatama antivirus. <laughs> yeah. But it has some things antidotes. That, antidotes. Yes. Things that are going to deal Nesimosako. Yeah. Yeah, but this time Gegozu Shugut Awishus Ban Banateko. Yes. Just listen to this. I know you are going to be blessed. Amen. In the zeal. The heart. Okay, what's in your scat? Govam Sagil, Ugosi, Makulunyang and Tizio, no Makulunyang and Mondo Gubenga Tigia fan. At times when people are talking about the heart and the mind, it seems like it's the same thing. Akfan. It is not the same. It's different. The mind and the God heart. Sometimes it gets God similar. God it wants to be the same. God but it's different when it comes to the works. When it's said above all things, God your heart. Above all things, guard your heart. Because from it, from it, flows the wells of life. And they, are, are, are the wells of life not coming from heaven? But it is said they are coming from the heart. And then Jeremiah says, the heart is desperately weak. The heart is It says, who does not know it? Who does not know it? Who can know it? Who does not know it? Who can know it? Who does not know it? In other words, the heart is able to deceive the owner. The heart they normally say, go where your heart leads you. In other words, who's taking you there? It's not your mind that is taking it. It's not your parents. It's not your friends. But it's the heart that is taking you there. They said you can never dish up for the heart. Do you get me saying? Can never dish up for the heart. What does that mean? It means the heart can make you do things that you never taught it. It dishes up for itself. The heart can never dish up for itself. What does that mean? It means that it dishes up for itself. Who 
Have you ever heard that someone is cooking and then emptying up? Why is it, what is happening when someone is dishing up? Because there is a problem in the heart. Said, do, I I forgive forgive do I hold grudges? Do I let them go? Thinking I'm going to spit up, I'm going to swear at them, I'm going to disgrace them. They're confused. They they're tossing and they're tearing. 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 It's the one that's going to deceive you. What is it going to do? If God gives me grace, and I get to the point where I explain that when a person is speaking to you, read his heart. Even if what he says is to be true, but listen to his or her heart. Because it's important. There are many people who have been deceived. Because they could not listen to the heart. Yeah, of their heart. And the heart. Yeah, and the person that is telling them a story. Because the heart. Is able to hear. Even if the mouth can say something else. I'm not talking about the Holy Spirit. I haven't talking about the Holy Spirit. I haven't talking about the Holy Spirit. I'm talking about the heart. Because that's a thing about I can't, about I understand. Because that's one thing people don't understand. Most people are being deceived by their own hearts. That's why it is said the heart is desperately wicked above all things. So in other words, in you, there's a deceiver. Upetro. Peter. Upetro. Peter. Wahambano Jesu for three years. Walked with Jesus for three years. Wahambano Bani. Who did he walk with? For him yalamagi. For how many years? But after he had walked out with Jesus, the insults came out. In the site where Jesus was. Three years. Three times. Imagine the person who walked with Jesus three years and he denies him three times. What makes that? shop. Here we will take you through our online store where you can buy any item in our secure online store and our courier company will deliver your item right to your door. We have four different products. DVDs, CDs, books and t-shirts. How to make your purchase. To select the DVD, click on the DVD. Indicate how many copies you would like to buy and you can add it to your cart. You can continue shopping for more this way until you are ready to check out and the total amount of your purchase will be displayed. Next, you will be required to fill in your personal information, whether you're a first time buyer or an existing buyer or a returning customer. You will then click by your login and using your credentials such as your email and password. After you have finished, proceed to payment. Agree with our terms and conditions of our website. This will then redirect you to our secure online payment system, Paygate or Payfast, depending on which secure online system you have selected. 
You will then fill in your card holder number found on the front of your card, as well as the expiry date, and the CVV, which is the last three digits at the back of your card. Click Next. You will get a notification on your cell phone to confirm the payment and receive the OTP code that you will have to put in back on the website to confirm the payment. You will then receive an email of payment as well as an SMS to say that the order was received. After the payment has been received, our team will process your payment to our courier team, Dawnwing or Fastway, to deliver your item to your door within three to four days. And you will be able to trace where your parcel is and be notified via email and SMS the update of your parcel. Hi, Bo. Oh, so Bo, okay, no, I You're understand. Now, I understand. That's why Amen is not coming out. Today we're going to operate on it. I'm going to be a cardiologist. I'm going to be a cardiologist today. Do you get what I'm saying? Words, we're going to open up your heart so that you are aware of it. Be scared of it. Of your own. Not other person's heart. You've got no power over someone else's You only have power over your heart. Today the Holy Spirit, please help me to Operate your heart. Yeah, Israel, you get that. Oh, Petro. Peter. Oh, Walked with Jesus. Was given the keys of the kingdom. Of God. But he is so pure. He has the audacity to deny Jesus. He was around. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was, around. Around. He was not outside the house. If Peter, if Peter denies Jesus, wouldn't you deny me? Who are you? If Peter denied his own Jesus, selling out is something that is we are faking each other's. You see, faking. You what is faking at? Pretending Pretending to to and I have my own intentions. There are so many who have got their own intentions. They even get others to help them to fulfill their own intentions. Not knowing that they are fulfilling your intentions. Peace be with you. Do you get me? Saying? The chief apostle. Imagine the chief apostle of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Denying the Lord Himself. They said you were walking with Jesus. He said I don't know Him. Where is it coming from? When you say you love me, where do you love me from? When you're selling me out, where do you sell me out from? In other words, the heart turns out on you, the owner. It makes you do things that you never thought you would do. It makes you say words that you never thought you would say. Make promises that you never thought you would make. It speaks. In the times of Jesus Christ, when Jesus was preaching, he would be mindful of the people's hearts. Do you get what I'm saying? When Jesus was preaching, he was never minding much about the mind, but he was checking out people's hearts. Ganjan. How? See, when the person that had... When they broke the roof of the, of the roof, so, when they brought him down, what that the Son of God says? He says, your sins are forgiven. 
the, heart, the mouth never spoke. But the heart spoke. And the heart said, who is this? Who is able to forgive? He's pretending to be God. And Jesus heard there. Who is he? Then why is he And then he he said, because I can't the I checked the thoughts. I checked the thoughts of the heart. Don't think that he doesn't know the thoughts. He knows them. And he said, which one is better than that I can do? To say your sins are forgiven? Or take your mat and go. What is he answering? He's not answering their mouth. He's answering their hearts. He said, which one is You are making noise in my ear. I can hear you. So that after that he said, for you to know that the Son of God is able to do everything, I'm going to say to you, to him, take your mat and go. And then he did take his mat and left. Jesus answered the hearts in other words, Jesus is dealing with the heart. People do not guard their hearts. People do not want to forgive. Jesus never said that you'll feel like forgiving. No, no, no. He said forgiving. We choice. You forgive even if you don't feel Even if you feel like, even if you don't feel like. In zone, the challenge is when hatred resides in your heart. Pain resides in your heart. Disappointment resides in your heart. Confusion resides in your heart. In other words, if you keep those, they are the manure of rot. Peace be with you. What is the heart then? The heart is the most important thing. God himself decided to dwell in it. He didn't decide to dwell in your mind. Where do you hear that Jesus is in the house? In your mind? I'm going to give you everything you need yes, of the heart. So that you understand So that if you catch this, you'll know what you're going to be like. If you leave it, you're going to know so that how you're going to be like. Yes, yes, indeed. As you have heard uh, Dr. Swanim Somi talking about the heart, and we believe that you have gained uh, some awareness and your heart was convicted or you've been taken to another level of understanding. Yes, the heart is a very important thing. It's a very important thing in our life, in our organ. And uh, that's an organ that God uses to hide his word, mm -hmm. to, f to give the fruit of the spirit. Yeah and uh, to grow you up. Heart is more intelligent than the mind. I hope you are blessed. Please tell others next week we are still continuing. Amen, amen. So let's see each other next week. We still have the heart in store for you. Don't miss it. You'll definitely be blessed in Jesus' name. Let's pray for you. Those who are on to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, say these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. I accept you. I accept you. My heart is rotten. My heart is rotten. But I bring it to you. But I bring it to you. Ma give me your transplant. 
Give me your transplant. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. I want to have your heart. I want to have your because heart. Because mine is evil. Because mine is evil. But I need yours. But I need yours. Jesus be my Lord. Jesus be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Savior. Forever. Forever. In Jesus' name In I Jesus pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. By saying that prayer, you are completely transformed. And you are going to experience something good from yes. above. Let me pray for those who are sick. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I release the healing power of Jesus Christ. I release the mighty presence of God over their life, wherever they are in hospital, at, uh, at home, at work, wherever they are right now. I release the life of Christ in, in the mighty name. name of Jesus. I say, be healed, Amen. be delivered, and be set free. In Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you. Bless you. See you next time. Yeah, please continue to support this ministry. It is very important for you to support us. It keeps us to be on this television station. If yes. you are on this television station, there are so many people that are going to be disciples. There are so many that are going to be saved. May God bless you until we see same time, same place next time. Amen. Bless you. Bye-bye.